How you doing everybody? This is Jim Buck with Black Series Campers of Southern California out of the City of Industry. And today I'm going to give you an interior walkthrough tour of the brand new HQ21. So let's get into this. Let's get going. Welcome inside the 2021 HQ21. So here we are at my favorite area. I, I love this booth. We have our U-shaped dinette booth. We already have it set up in the bed configuration, so you can see that, and I wanna show you a few things anyway. But this is uh, by far my most favorite feature of this unit, this really large room available dinette. So there's plenty of room to fit the family around. Again, play games, uh, enjoy activities, and just to sit around and be a family. And of course, behind that, we have these huge windows. These are really long, really wide windows. And, and if you're able to get that perfect spot backed up against a river or a lake or the ocean or whatever your view is, I mean, just imagine sitting at this booth and just looking out these windows, these massive windows at whatever beautiful view you're able to get to, get to with your Black Series HQ21 and that obviously rugged off-duty suspension so you can see with this great view with all these massive windows. So one of the things I'm gonna show uh, uh, first off the bat, we'll take a look, I'm gonna lift up these pads here because they're actually kind of hiding a secret that we got a new feature to it with our table. And the table's actually a pneumatic table. It's a power of a pneumatic table. And there's a switch here. And when you push the switch, it raises up or it lowers down. So we'll get into that in a little bit, but that's just want to show you real quick that that does do that. And one of the really cool new features to it, I'm gonna to toss that over there. And so under here, again, like we had before, I'm gonna pull out this pad here. And underneath, we have our batteries. So you can see we got one, two, three, and four AGM batteries with 100 amp hours a piece. We have our cutoff switch. We have some breakers here for the inverter, solar controller, control panel, and for your tow vehicle. You have your charge controller in here. So uh, again, this is the, the, the battery center, your power center. And then underneath this pad is going to be your inverter. And so let me put some of this stuff back in here real quick. Stick this one back here real quick. And then we have this one comes out. And this one is we're gonna have our 2000 watt inverter in there. So that's gonna provide you the power, enough power to run your microwave, run your TV, um, run some appliances, maybe a coffee pot, something like that. Whatever it is you wanna use, you are gonna be running off of your inverter using the inverter plugs. And remember, there's two styles of plugs. There's gonna be your GFCI plugs that work off of shore power or work off your generator. And then in this, you're going to have your inverter that's gonna run off the other plugs for different powers and stuff, okay? And the other area over here, let me move these pads. There's a lot of jostling and moving things around. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna move these pads. And so this, underneath this bench, you're gonna have a massive area for storage. So we get up here underneath one, and you can see a large, large storage area, so lots of storage space. And then you got two, so you got a lot of storage area to put extra things. Um, uh, maybe some beachware, maybe some, um, you know, inflatable uh, uh, floaties for, for the pool, or you know, whatever things you carry. You know, whatever items you take with you. We got a lot of storage space underneath this bench, so you can take stuff with you. So here also within the area, amongst all the storage we have in here, we have our storage in our cabinets. Now I'm also gonna point out real quick, we have our radio right here uh, with our function. And again, we have in indoor speakers and we have the outdoor speakers. And so to change the function to go from indoor to outdoor speakers, you would need to go through the fade. Um, so that way you, you know, you'd fade it right or left or fade it from front and back so you can get the speakers uh, out to where you would like to listen to it. Um, and then we have our satellite switch. This is for the inverter system. So again, there's inverter on, inverter off, and auto or power auto save. You only wanna use inverter on and inverter off. You don't ever wanna be on the power save. That's for a different function for technicians to use, okay? Um, but cabinetry, we have a lot of cabinetry, a lot of storage space 
in these cabinets that which is really nice i'm going to scoot over here and again you can see i got lots of room to be scooting around and sitting at this table and so when you look we have not a lot of nice storage here a lot of cabinets um, you can put your food products in here whatever you need to do whatever you're working with again more cabinets 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 we got cabinets for days in this unit look at that more cabinets okay and yes i'm gonna open every single one of them look at that and our last cabinet again we got cabinets lots of storage space in this unit and that's one of the really nice features of the hq21 now we did move some things we did have a cabinet there that had the tv and now we've actually moved the tv and mounted it on the wall over here so now you have accessibility to your tv over here in this area um, while you're sitting and watching watching tv and um, we still have our 12 volt plug here it's a marine grade plug 12 volt cigarette lighter style and then there's a dual usb plug right there as well let me pull this little little latch out of the way here so you can see so and as long as i'm here by a window i'm going to scoot back over here for those of you who have never seen how our, our windows latch so again you would push this out release it and so uh, this has a red handle to it because this is uh, designed to be an emergency exit because it is a large opening now uh, if you look at the latches right here there is a dual finger okay so you see the dual finger here now if you just want to close it but not have it clamped tightly then you would pull it in and you would actually go in between those two and you can see uh, you can see my finger i can still squeeze through there so you get a little bit of a uh, uh, some airflow into this into the unit now, if you want it tight, you're gonna be parking it, you pull it all the way and see now it's tight, tight. I can't get my finger in there. And so you have one, two, three, four, five locks on this one window. And then again, to release it, you're gonna push the button. Don't forget to push the button, otherwise you will break this, this little lock here. Push the button, raise it up, and then it just ratchets out to different heights for where you might wanna go put it so that way you can get different levels of airflow through the unit, which is really nice. Because again, you have these huge windows with a lot of airflow through the unit. Now you can tie that in with your vents that you're gonna have up in the ceiling. And again, there's two vents that are in this unit, one in this front area, and you have one in the back area by the, ba by the bedroom. So this is the one of two of the overhead vents that are here. And it's actually a lighted unit, which makes it really nice. You flip on the switch here and you have four LED light strips in here. Now this bar here, there's a bar right here that locks it. And so right now it's really bright. So let me show you real quick. I have a nighttime cover that can come over here and latch or with this open, I have a bug screen cover so I can have this open, and not worry about bugs coming in and out but otherwise you can leave this open and let air flow. But to open it, you grab this bar, you pull this over, you push this up, and there's some pneumatic arms to it. Now this is full extension, it's allowing air flow through, you got a lot of good air flow through to it. But let's say for whatever reason you don't want it open this high, you can actually pull it down into these little loops right here, and or a stirrup, whatever you'd like to call it, and these tabs pull across. So now we have it at a nice little jaunty angle. So it's not open quite all the way. Just kind of gives you a little bit of, of airflow for whatever reason, maybe some strong winds blowing or whatever reason you have it at a side little angle. And so that's our, our one of two air vents. Like I said, the other one is in the bedroom area. So as we travel this way a little bit, we'll stick to the ceiling. We have our first speaker. Our second speaker that's inside is gonna be in the bedroom area. As we keep going along right here, we have our air conditioner. So we have our air conditioner. It's got a couple different vents covers um, that open up and allow airflow out the sides, out different areas. Um, ah, one back here, a little angle back here. Um, and then you have your controllers here to turn it on, turn it off, or just to run maybe even a fan. Now, uh, keep in mind, you will need to be plugged into either a shore power to run your air conditioner or a generator. You need to be on a generator to run your AC unit. So here I am in the kitchen area. We have our sink, we have our, our oven and stove combination, and then across from that we have our refrigerator, as well as the cabinetry, and even a wardrobe area, which you could double up and use as a pantry if you wish. Um, but let's start back over here in the kitchen area. We have our switches, we have our main power switch, the large block. We have our lighting switch that runs all of our lights inside the unit here. And then these, this unit right here, or this switch right here, runs our floodlights that are outside. 
And then this right here, this is a GFCI plug. It is near a water source. And so that's why it's a ground fault current interrupter. This is one of the plugs that will only work when you're plugged into a generator or shore power, okay? You see right here, we have our water spigot. This is our filtered water. We talked about uh, all of our units, they have a triple filtration system. And if we look underneath the sink right here, we'll come under, come under here. And if you look, you see our triple filters and the valves and everything to turn it off and our water lines. So this is our triple filtration system. So this is gonna be coming off of your 16 gallon water, okay? Now, as long as we're down here, we can also take a look in this first cabinet here. And our first cabinet is actually a pull-out pantry. So this is where you can put like your canned goods, um, maybe some spices, stuff like that. But this is gonna be your pull-out pantry. Put that back in there, close that up. And then we have our sink. So we open up our sink here, we have a cover, and there's our sink. And so we have a hot and cold faucet. Okay, and then we also have, like I said, we have our drinking water there. So it makes it nice, it's nice and close, it's nice and convenient. Um, we can close this up, we can close this up. And then we also now have this, the sink surface, as a cover area. So if you wanna use this to serve food um, or a prep area, whatever you like to do, you have this surface you can do that in. Don't cut on this, but you have this as an area. Now we have our stove right here, we have our stove cover, our stove comes up three burner stove here's our switches for it or our valves for it um, electric start to it so this is our three burner stove again this is going to be up and if when you are cooking and using the three burner stove we have our lights and our fan unit here okay so we have our fans we have our lights right here um, and so that makes it again nice when you are cooking make sure you are utilizing your fan you want to draw that heat away so it's dispersed within the unit it's not just gathering right in here that can be on the, the not really safe side and then we also have our microwave right here and again to use a microwave you need to turn on your inverter and i hear watch i'll do that let me flip on the switch i'm going to flip on the inverter switch and give it a second this will kick on there you go there's our microwave so now you have use of your microwave and then when you're done using it you would just go back and you would turn your inverter switch back off and your microwave turns off the same thing with the tv now this cabinet right here you're gonna have our control center so we're gonna have all of our breakers for our coach um, we have our valves our switches for our water our drinking water and our general water for our pumps we have uh, 25 percent now our gauges are written in percentages it's not gallons or whatever it's percentages so when it's a full tank you would say 100 percent um, of 16 gallons all right so the rest of the tanks are empty um, general water tank gray water tank black water tank the switch right here this is our water heater now there are two switches for our water heater one has a little lightning bolt which I'm not sure if you'd be able to pick that up, but the lightning bolt would indicate that you would be plugged into a shore power or a generator and you would be using electricity to heat your water. Otherwise, you'd be using this one that shows the flame and that's to indicate that this is the propane powered. So you would be heating up your water using a flame or propane to do that. Um, and then this meter up here, this is the reading for our solar panels. Um, so it's get bringing in 11.86 volts. Um, the amount of power we are currently using, that's gonna be current and power. Those are just two different measurements. One is measured in amps, one is measured in watts. So you would just be looking at those two. It's the same number, I mean, I know the number is not exactly the same. It's the same thing, it's reading the same thing, just using a different measurement, amps and watts. And then energy. That is kilowatts per hour. So that's just like your meter that you have on your home. How much power have I used overall? And that's what we're looking at right there. That's what that fourth reading is for that series there. Um, so if you want battery readings and you want other power readings, then that's gonna come up on the solar panel over there. Okay, now to finish up over here, um, on top of, or below the stove, we also have our oven. Let me open up the door here, show you inside. It's a, a standard size, um, you know, camper oven, um, but we have our oven under there. If you choose to uh, maybe cook some cookies or bake something, or I don't know what you'd like to do with it. Um, and then underneath that is a storage drawer. So you can kind of see a little area, nice little storage, maybe pots and pans, 
um, or some items over there. And we come back up and we come over to this side behind us. We have our dual zone fridge and freezer. Um, bottom, half, bottom half is obviously your refrigerator, top half is your freezer, as well as your controls, your on, off, your gas, your auto, all your controls for your refrigerator right here. The top cabinet here, that's just gonna be a storage. Nice deep storage drawer. Uh, again, you can put some items in there just off the top of my head and you maybe like paper towels or um, some other canned goods or bags of chips or bags of cookies, whatever you wanna put in there. You have some items you can put up in there. And then this over here, I'll open up this door. This also, like I said, this is a wardrobe door is listed as a wardrobe but again you can use it as a pantry you can place some shelves in there um, and then you can use this area as a larger item pantry if you wish or put in a rod in here and you can use it as a wardrobe um, as you come down here one of the drawers top drawer is going to be your utensil drawer knives and forks and whatnot and then the drawer below is going to be where your mixer valve is so you wouldn't actually be using that for storing much and the same thing goes for this drawer right here this cabinet here this is where you're going to find um, a lot of your hoses your um, water pumps are lit are underneath there um, the you can see the fill hoses are underneath there uh, so when you're filling your tanks and stuff as well as other hoses so you, you wouldn't be storing anything in these two cabinets so here we are beyond the kitchen area and we're getting into our our restroom shower area and so here over here on this side we have our shower so you can see the shower head uh, which is really nice it's got a nice feature it's got a, a soap holder dispenser or a soap holder there as well as the adjustability for the head to, uh, to move up and down and then we also have a towel rack in there for after your shower you have a place to hang your towels and again one of the nice features is the door on this and so there's actually a magnetic strip that runs up and down on this and it's an accordion style door and it's in a track so when you close it and you were taking your shower the water will actually hit the door run down hits the track and then will drain back into the shower so you're not dripping any water out on the floor unless you step out while you're still wet and then you're dripping water um, this does have a blue hue to it this is actually just protective strips um, just to keep it protected uh, it's something you can either leave on or take off if you like if you don't mind the color of the blue there um, but it's nice like I said it just slides nice and easy it's a really easy function super nice um, and again it keeps all of the water in there um, you're not dripping water out it's really great um, and then we have our fan our vent fan double switch so you have lights in there now there is a puck light in there uh, in the corner so that way you do have lighting but this is nice just a secondary little lighting um, or if you don't have the other lights on then you at least have these little puck lights on now across if we flip around to this side you're gonna find your restroom um, so we have a nice little window so there's no vent in here they have a window um, with a cute little sink I love the sink um, the cute little angled sink it's a little kind of triangular kind of type thing I really like it um, and then if you look just below the edge of the sink there you see another GFCI plug again it's near a water source we have to have a GFCI plug so that, again that would only function if you're plugged into a, a shoreline or a generator and then below the GFCI plug is another switch and that is the switch to turn on the heat pad for the general water tank. So if you're in a cold environment, the general water tank has a pad underneath it. It's a 120 volt system, and that's going to keep that tank warm so you're not freezing your water. Um, and then obviously just to the next of that is the most important seat in the house, your toilet. <laughs> so we have a nice little area in here, nice toilet in here. Um, and again, we have the same accordion style door. I'm gonna close this up here. Same accordion style door. Um, you know, you, you do fit in there. I fit in there. I've tried it out. Um, well, I didn't try it out. I sat down to see if I could fit in there. Um, and I can't fit in there. I'm 6'1". I can fit in there. Um, you know, you can't stretch out all over the place and lay out, but you can fit in there fairly comfortably and do what you need to do. It's a bathroom. It's going to take care of all the business you need to take care of. So here in the master bedroom, the back bedroom or the front bedroom area, we have obviously our bed. And one of the nice features is we have a nice privacy pocket door right here. So it would 
unlock. Here's your pin right here. And then this just rolls over very nicely over into this area. And then you would lock it again if you wish to. Now also in that corner, as long as we were over there, you can also see there's the TV. So there's two bedrooms or two TVs in this unit. You got one up here in, in the back bedroom area, and then you have one back in the front near the dinette for everyone to watch and enjoy. So we have some cabinetry and stuff. Um, we see this is exit. So again, that's the nice thing about our windows is not only they are large enough, they allow a lot of airflow through, but they're also large enough to use as an emergency exit area if need be. Um, but we have some storage here. We have storage here. We got storage over the bed on the other side. We have um, a wardrobe here. Um, and it's a nice, again, a nice deep wardrobe closet right here that's alongside the beds as well as storage underneath here too or excuse me above here as well now as you're long as you're up here too you also look here is our other speaker that i was mentioning earlier being inside now if you scroll this way just a little bit you'll see the cabinet there behind you but if you also look up on the ceiling you also are going to have the switch for your king antenna and again i mentioned um you know if you're looking at the exterior video the exterior video i talk about the king jack or the high definition antenna up on the roof that's the control for it um, as you come around we have our smoke detector and again our second uh window vent uh, our large window vent which is already in that like halfway down position um, and again it makes for really like nice lighting areas now if you look over here on the wall over here i have two features i'd like to point out one would be the light switch so if you leave the lights on you know you want to read or whatever you want or you're doing something in here you can use this switch here to turn turn off your lights um, now there's also a secondary or a inverter switch here so when I was talking earlier about flipping on the inverter switch to run power for things, maybe you want to charge your phone uh, in your room or whatever it is you want to do. If you notice right here on the switch plate, it says inverter. So only the switch plates that say inverter on them are going to be the ones that will work using the inverter. Okay, that's one of them. Now, one of the last features or one of the last few features I'd like to point out in here is our reading light. Now, it's got a touch switch so you can see the lights off. So if I touch the switch, a little blue ambient light comes on. It's like kind of nice, like a little blue night light, if you wish, if you'd like to use it. When you touch it again, it turns on your reading light. Now, if you can see the light there, if I touch and hold the switch, that light will actually get brighter. I'll release, I'll touch it again, and now that light will dim. So the on off switch actually acts as a dimmer switch to lighten or darken the light so that we have that now one of the other really nice nice features that i've always really enjoyed um, and loved about our black series models our black series units is of course our diamond shaped pattern with the faux leather on the headboard it just it really brings about a really nice touch um, whether it be here on the headboard or whether it be the stitching on the couch uh, in the dinette up front. It just really sets it off as a very, really nice, um, just upgraded feature for me. I know it's not an upgrade, but it's just this beautiful feature, I feel. And that's just one of my favorite um, uh, parts of our units. So there you have it, the 2021 HQ21. I hope you're as excited about it as we are, and hopefully you're able to get as many of your questions answered as we could. Again, this is Jim Buck, Black Shoes Campers in Southern California, out of the city of industry in the 2021 HQ21, saying take care, everybody. We'll see you out there. How you doing, everybody? This is Jim Buck with Black Shoes Campers of Southern California, out of the city of industry. And we hope that you enjoyed the last video of a series that we just got finished watching. And what we'd like to do is we'd like to ask to make sure that you please like and subscribe to our channel so that way you can see all of the videos that are coming up in our series. So make sure that you get out there, you smash that bell up in that corner up there. And again, this is Jim Buck with Black Series Camper. So we hope you enjoyed that video. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.